When we think about wetlands, we think about the transitional areas between what we call the aquatic zone or open water, ponds, lakes, the ocean, and so forth, that are wet all or part of the time. The watershed is the greater area surrounding our immediate landscape environment. And we are talking about the wetlands, not just open water, but water that moves through the ground and above the ground. Above the ground for all intents and purposes, we're going to refer to storm water. And then hydrology is water that's in the ground. When we're working with the wetland, the first thing that we want to identify is what kind of environment is it? And what is our purpose to looking at the wetland? Wetlands serve great ecological functions. Are we looking to improve that in terms of habitat, in terms of flooding? It's improving the absorption of water into the ground and reducing potential of flooding. So we have the opportunity to make green space better. So while lawns are extremely low functioning, even an organic lawn, wetlands are extremely high functioning, mostly because of the biomass of native plants. Only plants can provide the biology that we need as human beings. And wetland plants serve a great function of filtering water. Behind me, we had a wall of Phragmites. So in this small, limited place, we're able to stunt the Phragmites and starve them, and over time, create an open avian pathway. This improves the air circulation, and keeps the uptake, the flow of the wetlands, by also choosing better species. So we're biologically selecting better species for better species. First of all, for our own human health, second of all, for the planet.